Hi, my pre-K friends. I wanted to show you um, some of these popsicle, these alphabet popsicles that I included in your um, plans this week. And if you have a printer, you can print these out as well. And if you don't, you could just watch this video and see um, how I'm gonna use them. And maybe you can find something else to use. Maybe you have flashcards, alphabet flashcards at home um, or something like that. So I'm pretty much obsessed with these popsicles right now because they're so colorful and cute. And also there's so many things you can do with them. So I'm gonna show you a few ideas that I'm using them for and maybe you can send me, if you come up with something else, um, you can send them and tell the class about them. So first of all, like I said, they're alphabet popsicle sticks. So there's a letter on each popsicle. And um, do you know how many letters there are in the uh, English alphabet? In our alphabet that we use in school, there are 26 letters. So how many popsicles do there need to be? 26, right? So I could use these popsicles actually for counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? And if I keep counting, at the end should be there should be 26, right? So we can use them for counting. And also we can use them for number stories. So I tell stories like this. Um, Mela has three popsicles and Lucia has three popsicles. How many popsicles do we have all together? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, so we use them for a number story, right? Okay, and this is the other purpose of these popsicles that we can, that originally what the person who made them wanted them to be. Like I said, they're alphabet, right? So there's the uppercase letter and the lowercase letter. And if you're still learning your lowercase letters, these are great because they're on the same picture, right? M, uppercase M, lowercase M. And this is important to know because sometimes the lowercase letters do not match what I say they're mommy, right? You see how this is all straight lines and this has two curves? So that's tricky to know. Now there's letters like the P where actually the uppercase and the lowercase look very similar, right? And um, uppercase, lowercase. And here's other ones where they look different. This is the tricky one, right? Uppercase, lowercase. Uppercase, lowercase, they look different. Up. Oh. Uppercase, lowercase look pretty the same, right? Okay, so we have uppercase and lowercase letters. And also there's a picture in the middle. This is so cool. So this is a picture, it looks like a present, but if you think of the other word of, for present is gift, and you think of sounds in motion too, right? G, g, gift. So the picture in the middle helps us to remember the sound that the letter makes. So we have an uppercase, a lowercase, and the letter sound. That's so awesome. So this is M, and M says mmm, like mushroom. L, lowercase l, makes the sound like ladybug. So those are so, these are so cool that way. And here is another game that we were playing. So um, uh, my kids and I, we would get about five popsicles each and we would hold them like cards so we wouldn't show our whoever we were playing with. And then we would choose one that we were gonna use. So let's say I, I use this one and I'd say, I'm thinking of something that starts with a G and now I'm gonna give a clue, okay? And you give it to people on their birthday and sometimes you wrap it up, what is it? And then the other person has to guess, right? We're very nice about it though. If they need more clues, we can. And then after they guess it, then I put that one down and I take another one and then it's someone else's turn, right? So um, we play, we used to play this game a lot called, you know, guess my animal or guess the object or that kind of thing. So now you can play um, guess my object or guess what I'm thinking of using the letter or the letter sound. So another one is um, I'm thinking of an animal that starts with a p sound and it likes to swim. It is a bird but cannot fly. 
Can you guess what it is? And then they would have to guess penguin, right? Okay, so we take turns with that. So that's another game you can play with these. Um, and then one last thing that I thought of, and maybe, like I said, maybe you'll think of this someone else, is if you're counting them, um, you could you can line them up in a straight line, right? But while you're lining them up in a straight line, why not put them in order? J, Q, U, what? That's not the order, right? So let's put them in order. So the first letter we need is, that's the last letter. Ooh, I see them here now. A, A, oh, I'm seeing the first letters. Uh, oops, oop, 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 oh, there we go. Okay, so here I have a, B, C, D, E. What's going to go here? F, right? So I'm going to look for F. And then the next one's going to be G. <clears throat> so you can line up all your popsicles in a line. And then when you get all 26 letters all the way to Z, you can do it again. And if you're learning your lowercase, you can point to the lowercase as you sing the song, right? A, B, C, D, E, etc. Um, one other thing, this is kind of a super challenge and we only have one popsicle for each letter. So if you stick to words, grown-ups, if you stick to words that have three letters and we call these CVC because it's consonant, vowel, consonant. But if we do something like, this is the challenge, okay? Um, There we go. Okay, so these are all letters that we learned in Sounds in Motion already. This is B, A, G, right? So B says B, A says A, G says G, B, A, G, B, A, G, B, A, G, B, A, G. Bag, and we made a word with these popsicles. So all together, these letters, when we put them together, make a word, bag. Isn't that awesome? Okay, guys, so that's the popsicle stick. That's how I'm using them here at home. If you come up with another way, let me know, and I hope you have fun. Okay, love you, bye.